Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio. I'm Khalid Maidan, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through Lachman's test, which we use to diagnose a rupture of the ACL, the anterior cruciate ligament of the knee. Now I come across so many physiotherapists who say to me that they find this test really difficult, that they have small hands and they find it difficult to do the handling. And so as a result, I'm going to show you two methods of doing this test. So you can choose whichever one you prefer and make you a lot more confident in diagnosing those ACL ruptures. So let's get into it. So for the traditional method of doing this test, the examiner places one hand at the distal femur over the front of the leg and the other hand, which is the testing hand, on the proximal tibia with the thumb on the tibial tuberosity and the fingers lightly gripping around the calf. From there, you simply perform an anterior translation of the tibia using your lower hand. And there you're looking to see if your patient either has an increase in laxity relative to the other side or a lack of end feel when you're doing the test. So as I said before, I come across so many physiotherapists who find that traditional method of testing really difficult, particularly if you're like me and you've got small hands, or if you're working with big strong athletes like rugby players who have got really heavy legs. So as a result, here's my second method of testing. Start with putting your knee directly underneath the patient's. Automatically, this gives you so much more support and control of their leg, meaning that you can really use your hands for testing and feeling the movement rather than having to grip on for dear life. So, in terms of your handling, your top hand goes in a C shape with the finger and thumb wrapped around the patella, so the finger and the thumb are resting right on the joint line between the tibia and the femur, so you can feel the movement going on there. Your lower hand, your testing hand, is in the very similar position to before, with the thumb directly on the tibial tuberosity and your fingers lightly gripping around the calf. And from there, we once again perform our anterior translation of the tibia. So in practice, I do the test with both slow and quick movements of the anterior translation. And that's because each of those different movements allows me to assess different things when it comes to those two positive signs. So the slower movement allows me to really appreciate any difference in laxity between the affected side and the non-affected side. Whereas the quicker, more sharp movement allows me to really assess the end feel. And of course, when you do have a firm end feel, that's a good thing. It shows that the ACL is intact and therefore when you take the movement to the end of the range, you have a tug sensation when you're doing the test. And of course, if you have a softer or what's sometimes described as a mushy end feel when you're doing the test, then that can indicate to you that your patient unfortunately does have an ACL rupture. So guys, if you've liked this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out our best and most interactive social media platform, which is at Clinical Physio on Instagram. And also check out our website, www.clinicalphysio.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Khalid Maidan, and I'll see you soon.